Why do I have brain fog? We hear this question so very much. I'm Dr. Carrie Lamb and this is Dr. Michael Lamb. We're here to talk about what brain fog is and what causes it. So what is actually like a definition or what um, does brain fog actually feel like? Some people just feel like they have a fog come over them. It's hard to do things or hard to concentrate. Sometimes they go in and out of being able to remember certain phone numbers or even do simple math problems. Sometimes it's worse after you take some supplements. Sometimes it's worse after you eat. It's just um, a mental lean just not very clear and so some of the other definitions would be mild confusion sometimes memory loss but it is something that we see very very often and there are many many causes that we're going to go through and one of them are is adrenal fatigue so how does adrenal fatigue actually cause brain fog well uh, adrenal fatigue is a uh, condition where the body is in the process of trying to slow down in order to preserve its energy when it's dealing with stress that is overwhelming. Now, when the body goes through a stressful situation and try to conserve energy, it slows down all the metabolic functions. So the gut slows down, the brain slows down, the heart beating slows down, the blood pressure becomes dysregulated. And if you think about the food, the constant chemicals that's in our body, when the metabolism goes down, then what happens is that the breakdown pieces becomes accumulating in the body. So instead of, uh, I always use an analogy of a, 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 a garbage disposal under your sink. It's supposed to turn 100%, so when you put a chicken bone underneath, it turns and then it breaks into smaller pieces and it flush out of your system. However, if this turning process is compromised, maybe even 90%. It's not dysfunctional in the sense that it's not working. It's working. It's just kind of slowed down because this is the body's way of conserving energy. Then, therefore, you're going to have uh, you know, uh, pieces of metabolites that's flowing in the body. And you know, it's almost like you go into the kitchen and it looks clean, but it kind of stinks. And so it's this uh, discomfort zone that your body is in. And when these metabolites go to the brain, it causes an inflammatory reaction because it's supposed to go to the brain through the blood and then comes out through the kidneys and you know it peed out from the rest of the fluids. But it's not because it's stuck in the brain and causes inflammation. And this is what we think is one of the primary ideologies when it comes to the adrenal fatigue situation. Right, and you're talking about the metabolites. I mean, uh, yeast and viral infections are also a very um, prominent cause of brain fog. Yes, and... and uh, Candida, uh, Epstein-Barr virus, uh, H. pylori, you know, uh, even Lyme diseases, you know, uh, some of these are contributing factors. But the important thing to understand is not that these, it, it, these issues or these pathogens by themselves causes brain fog. Brain fog is just a symptom of uh, what we understood now is a slowdown in metabolism. Mm -hmm. Okay. And talking about metabolism, some people, even when they feel like they have low blood sugar, can feel this fog come over them. And they get a little shaky and jittery, and they just feel like um, they're unable to concentrate very well. So that is also another cause. And sometimes it come and go, you know, and, and sometimes it gets better with food. Uh, because, you know, once you stabilize the blood sugar, then the body's metabolism starts to increase. And then instead of slowing down, and you feel better. Another cause of brain fog is if your gut is not healthy and you have some gut toxicities or nutrient toxicities and your gut cannot absorb nutrients very well. Well, the gut is also what we call the second brain because that's where a large majority of the neurotransmitters and the precursors are actually made and then is sent to the brain for the final assembly. So if your gut is not, can work, not working well, whether you have SIBO or candida or dysbiosis or bloating, you know, or, or gut uh, permeability issues, irritable bowel, I can go on and on. And it, invariably, uh, the neurotransmitter is going to be affected and the metabolite is going to be also affected, leading to brain fog. Right. And um, um, a big main cause is also environmental, what you put into your body. So a lot of foods that we eat have a lot of toxins or pesticides in them. They're not, they're used with artificial sweeteners. You have food chemicals in them um, or even plastics and petrochemicals. So that could also yeah. overload your body. In particular, gluten is a big problem. Wheat is a big problem. Corn is a big problem. 
And of course, uh, also dairy products if the body is not able to process. So these are some of the main causes of brain fog and we've kind of given you a general um, definition and what causes um, of why you might have brain fog.